<laughs> it's us. Still. Still us. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Friday's broadcast. We usually broadcast on Fridays and sometimes on Wednesdays. Zero Page Homebrew. And we're going to play some Atari games today. Again. Again and again and again. <laughs> but they're different each time. Yeah. At least on the Fridays. On Wednesdays, we usually repeat. Oh, that's exciting. Yes. Because Is that when you play Wall Jump Ninja for <laughs> the Jets? The 50th, the 50th time. <laughs> that's when I play Wall Jump Ninja for World Records, uh, which I got. Yes, uh, <clears throat> on this past Wednesday. And this is why I'm wearing this t shirt today. It says, uh, what does it say? I have to bend down. Good games only need one red button. Oh. And it's even more true for Wall Jump Ninja because it only uses the button yeah. and none of the controls. Um, but on the Genesis controller, it's actually a black button. So yeah. that's, that's fine. It's still a button. You're, you're ruining a good story with the truth. <laughs> that's right. Why ruin a good story with the truth? Today we've got a variety of games. Uh, not just a variety of different games, a variety of different genres. Um, I'm not faking not knowing. I really have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's better that way. <laughs> <laughs> so that the highs are higher and the lows aren't quite as low because then you won't be like, oh, I don't want to play that game. He won't know he, he doesn't want to play it till we get into the game. He's like, I don't like this game. Um, the first one is Lead. That was a very glary uh, picture. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Yes. That's, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's better. A little bit. Let's try down. There we that's, go. That's the best. That's better. Uh, lead. Still not great. Still the best is really bad. <laughs> yes. How about this? How about this? That's better. That looks way better. Yeah, yeah. Um, lead. Uh, it's a shoot 'em up. Second one is Panky the Panda, Ooh. which is a very <clears throat> nice cartoony cover. Um, and that is a Panky platformer. The Panda. Is that like? That's his first name, Hanky. <laughs> Hanky Panky. <laughs> Hanky. Panky it might be. We you will do, see. Does he do naughty things with his bamboo? <laughs> Uh, not in the <laughs> limited amount of time that I played it. <laughs> I knew you were playing these games ahead of time. Like uh, Barely. Barely, I, barely, uh -huh. barely, barely, barely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, and the third one is actually a work in progress game. So it hasn't been released. It's not on cartridge. So we're going to be playing it on my um, uh, emulator cartridge. Why do we always forget the name? Harmony Encore Cartridge. And it's Unreal Tournament. And uh, we, yeah, it's like a D, and they, he calls it a D-make, because, you know, it's not a remake, it's mm. a devolution, de de devolution, mm. because it's not 3D, <laughs> yeah, and it's flat, and it's pixels, <laughs> instead of, you know, polygons. But it should be fun time, uh, I checked it out very briefly, and looks like fun, it's a capture the flag game, but we won't get into that till we play it. Uh, welcome everybody. Um, well, most of you. Most of you. Some of you. I you don't know, know about. You, I don't know about you. You know who you are. Watch it. Sort it out. And I've upgraded the system here, the hardware here, so it should be a little bit better looking. This is a new piece of hardware I got for capturing the video games. It's similar to one I was using before, so I've swapped the old one over to the camera, which is way better looking now, as you can see, as long as it's not blurred. <laughs> let's, get, let's get the de-blurring. Come on. Come on. The camera looks so good now. <laughs> Why is it? There we there go. We go. <laughs> wow. It's probably because we're looking over there and it, it focuses on faces. Anyway. Mm. So it should be better. Social Regardless. Camera. Yeah. Um, so let's get on to the first game, which is lead. I thought it was lead, but I think it's lead because you're like it's is a it shooter. Is it a racing game? Nope, it's a shooter, yeah. vertical shooter. If it was a sh if it was a racing game, lead I would foot. say I would say lead mm. or lead because you could lead the pack. Yeah, that's true. Um, this one was put out in 2008. Um, so let's pop it in. Okay, 
case you didn't hear it, that was the sound of it popping in. Things turning on. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's exciting. Yeah, it's got some super crazy music. So let's transfer over there. There we go. And the music is way too loud. Is it? There we go. Get it around. How about that? Tell us if it is too loud and you can't hear us. I'm going to turn down just a little bit because there is a lot of music in this game. Okay, as is tradition, you go first. <laughs> Press this button. Will you, you lead? <gasps> See, maybe it is lead. What? I didn't, what happened? I just looked away for a second. What? What happened? <laughs> you died. It says game over. I don't know. But well, what happened? I'm playing again. <laughs> Will you lead? Maybe it is lead. Okay, you're a little ship. Stage one. Fire. Okay, it's baddies. Oh, you have to kill all of them. <laughs> I, ah. I now know why I died. Because the baddie got to the bottom. Yeah, I, I thought, hey, <laughs> You're doing I'm going to not get hit by them. I'm not stupid. I'm going to stay on this one side where there aren't any baddies. It's, a, was... smart, it's a smart tactic, but not in this game. You have to fire your lead. But why does it say, will you lead? Like, what are you leading? No, I died. <laughs> your turn. So you got 123 points. Don't read the rules. You're not no, allowed not. to read them yet. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I haven't even played yet. Okay. Reading the rules is against the rules. In case you, in case you aren't aware of that. <laughs> Reading the rules is against the rules. Immediately. You can read them after you figure out all the rules. <laughs> and then you verify Stop the being rules. so casual as you already <laughs> exceeded my best uh, three games. <laughs> of course, you benefited from finding out what... True. I had to like learn the hard hard knocks way. So I just picked up a thing, which seemed to have finished the stage. Stage two! Dodge. Okay, okay. Oh, I think I just pressed the button which fired the thing that I got, which cleared the screen. I probably didn't want to use it on this level. So it's back and forth and fire. I don't think back, I mean not left and right and fire. Back and forth doesn't do anything. Well, back and forth to mean many things. Yeah. Rocking back and forth usually is forward and back. Oh. Uh, but it can be rocking back and forth. But that's usually rocking side to side, which is what you're kind of doing in this game. Am I getting points? Yeah, I'm getting... Oh! Why did you hit that stone? Because <laughs> it got in my way... You can try again. Yeah? Yeah. I New will ice score! It. Well, there's options. Oh, effects normal. None. Flavor? Flavor. Sec? Sequence? Normal. Let's keep on normal for now. Speed normal. Rhythm stage. Bass? Oh. Oh, rhythm is music. Okay, it's three types. Let's keep it on stage for now. Envelope, tick, full, normal. Oh, it's lead 1K and lead 4K. What were we playing? Probably 1K. Oh, this is 4K. Are we playing 1K? I don't know. This doesn't look any different. I would have thought 4K would be Whoa, the default, because they want you to play the crazier, bigger game. Now it could be one, 1K and 4K. I guess I could put two chips in it. Whoa. Or they could make it an 8K. Smart Bomb added. Stage 2 dodge. Not as good. New high score. Maybe we were playing 4K before. 1k before. Oh, the music's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> oh, you, you hadn't started yet. 
<laughs> my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Get your head in the game. Yeah. So it looks like some of them start out purple, and then they go pink, and then they go red, and then you kill them. And then they die, yeah. Yeah. So you really do want to ex concentrate on that. This is harder, I think, than the 1K game, if we were playing. You, you, you completed the 1K one. You completed the first one. I did. In and this... you completed the second one. Both times you got to the asteroid stage. It's just I didn't get past time. that. You didn't get past the God. asteroid stage. Hard. Whoa. You can't move away from from trying to kill them. You have to just keep on the one that's closest yeah, to you pretty much. Doing, yeah. Uh, for me, I had to get over my urge to avoid them. Whoa! Because usually, like, you're trying to not get hit by them, and you want to get them because you get points, but... This, you have to this get you them. you have to get them. You die if you don't. So it's you have even... to, like, get right in front of them every time, and you have to treat them as though you're a boot and they're cockroaches. <laughs> the... It's almost as if, like, they're carrying a bomb trying to get to your base, and even if one of them gets to your base yeah. that's behind you... Well, I think they're bed bugs, you're... and they're trying to get into your hotel room. And, and one bed bug is more it. than enough. You're, you're done. They do look like Out of bugs. Business. Oh, I use the smart bomb. Don't, don't do that. Also, uh, the third no. asteroid is as deadly as any of them. I think that's the second yes. time you hit the third asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't worry, your turn will come again it's soon. switching from having to kill everything on the screen to going to having to dodge everything on the screen. It's so... No, you can go again. That wasn't enough. <laughs> it's yeah. such... You have to flip your mindset when you are when you get to Yeah, the... and you already have to flip your mindset because... <laughs> you do. I, I don't think it's... I've ever seen a game where you have to kill absolutely yeah. everything as it's coming towards you. Okay, you go. Quick, <laughs> quick, go, quick! <laughs> Because usually it's like, oh no, I missed it, I'd just dodge it instead. Mm -hmm. Oh god. How was I doing this before? Oh, Rogers has an exclusive offer for me. It's <laughs> for exclusive just for, for just me. Wow, they really value you as a customer. If it's, they came up, like their marketing team sat down at a big, huge table at their... I think they made an error. <laughs> By sending it to you? Yeah, I don't think they should... I don't think they should have an exclusive deal for me. Like, that's very <laughs> inefficient. It is. Maybe they're, maybe they're using you as a guinea pig? Oh, like, that makes more sense. It's like, it's just for you for now. We'll see how you like it, or even if you go for it. And then they'll release it upon the population. Oh my god. Got it anymore. Okay, okay. Don't, don't, don't press, press the, button. the button. Don't hit any of the asteroids. And a uh, very unique... You made, you made it look so me. easy the first time. I did. That, that's working against you. I know. I don't know. It's like, ah! Ah! Unique thing about do really good the asteroids one is that they push the asteroids around like the uh go again. You're gonna go to a finish this. No, no, I'm not gonna go until I finish no. <laughs> no. I don't feel as though I should be punished. <laughs> <laughs> Twice is enough. Okay, here. You read the instructions while right. I play my game. Lead! And it is lead. Don't follow. It's not lead. Will you lead? <laughs> Will you lead? Will you put lead in these enemies? Ah. Enemy class, cannon fodder. Armor equals class 3. Weaponry, class 1 collision deflectors. That's not Maneuverability, instructions. marginal. Summary, negligible threat, attack and... A negligible? Attack and destroy. <laughs> Enemy class, attack saucer. Armor, class 5. Weaponry, class 6 screens. Maneuverability, average. Summary, medium threat, approach with caution. What? Those aren't instructions. 
It's on the Those front are... cover. I'm reading it. Shush. You just, you just <laughs> defeat the enemy. Okay. Enemy class, Warbird. Ah. Armor class, 12. Weaponry, class 8, ramming shields. Maneuverability, exceptional. Summary, extremely dangerous to gauge at own risk. Okay, so lead, lad. A video game for Atari 2600, 2008, Simone Sierra. Sarah. Simone Sarah. Uh, before turning the console on. Oh, what? Oops. <laughs> what? Set the TV type uh. switch to color for NTSC televisions or BW for PAL 60 Hz televisions. Uh, I think we got the right one. Working. Well. Would it work anyways? Might. It depends. Actually, it would, color. because my setup takes PAL, too, so... Yeah. Uh, Atari Vox Safety. Ah, well, we don't have it plugged in, but that's okay. okay. Atari Vox or Safe Key is plugged into the right controller jack. The following save features are enabled. High score. Whenever new high score is achieved, it's automatically saved on the Atari Vox or Safe Key. Nice. Each lead variation the main game... Lead yep. 1K and lead 4K. Yeah. And they have one score saved for it. Okay. When the 2600 is turned on, lead will load the previously saved high scores. The select switch can be used to erase the previously saved scores. Hold select while turning on the console to reset high score for the main game. Hold select while choosing either lead 1K or lead 4K from the options menu to resume the high score for the chosen game. Okay. Reset. The high score for the Okay. I'm just reading this. I know you don't you don't even care about half of this, but <laughs> I mean what do you want to just watch him kill all the monsters all day? You wanna hear my sweet melodious <laughs> voice. Audio options for the main game are saved on the Atari Voxer's save key whenever back is selected on the options menu. Audio options are loaded when the console is turned on. And other words. In other words. <laughs> <laughs> Console controls. Left difficulty switches between pro, A, expert, and amateur, B, novice. We're on amateur right now. Can you believe that? I can. It's an Atari game. They're hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is amateur. See the main game. Setting the difficulty for more information. Right difficulty turns on off the smart bomb safe activation mode. Okay. We're on B right now, so what does that mean? No, we're on A. No, we're which not. is expert for the for the left okay. difficulty. Oh we are. Okay. Phew! Phew! No wonder it's so hard. Right difficulty turns on off smart bomb safe activation mode. I will explain that later. Okay. My switches aren't very good, so the I don't know if that works. The select switch is used for clearing high scores from an attached Atari box or safe key. As explained before. Okay. Do, do press reset to return to the main title screen while you are playing the main game. Return to the main title screen while you are on the options menu. Or start a new game while you're on the main title screen. Apparently. Is it still super hard? Yes. I don't know if this is better or worse. Because my... It doesn't give any indication on the screen whether you're a novice or expert. <laughs> None at all. And your buttons are bad, so... The yeah, my switches are bad. <laughs> the normal way of knowing is not I gotta, reliable. I gotta clean those out this weekend. Because that's just not... It's not working. Okay, smart bomb added. Do not press the button. Oh, what happened? You press it, the button. I didn't. My hand's not even on the button. Well, maybe it didn't. Smart bomb button. Press the smart bomb, you'll find out. Okay. And I died because I went for the button. I don't know. I, I don't <laughs> see how that's my fault. <laughs> I know that you're implying, and the tone of voice suggests that it is not your fault but mine. <laughs> <laughs> Gameplay How control. Could you do this ship to me? <laughs> move your ship with left, right. You can also use the diagonal directions to move the ship. Oh, okay. It means it. That doesn't make any sense. It means it doesn't stop you from moving if you press up and down. That'd be terrible. Would, That'd be so I stopped terrible. speaking suddenly because I was expecting there to be more. <laughs> uh, missiles during fire stages. 
press fire to shoot missiles. The ship will auto fire if you hold the button down. These are missiles? It's okay. got some serious uh, Gatling guns on it that never stop. Oh, great. yeah. Okay, dodge. I'm not... My hand is not even near the bomb. Does that help you? I don't know. No. Smart bomb. Uh. Smart bomb. Act activation. You can activate a smart bomb as follows. On fire stages by pressing down. On dodge, scramble, or catch stages, either by pressing down or fire. So but the fire button will... Pressing down? That oh, that's what it... Happens. Pressing down during... No, no. Pressing down... Oh, yeah, down or fire on the dodge stage. That's not good. Because it's so easy on this control pad. But it must be useful on that stage. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do it at all. And it gives you different oh. options. It gives you... You can press fire during the dodge stage... Whereas fire doesn't do it in the the other uh, in the fire stage, so oh okay, there must be some value I to it. I see. So you can use the smart bomb in this stage. In this stage, yeah. Oh, press, okay, by press pressing down. down. Oh, press okay. down. I haven't gotten a smart bomb <laughs> at all. Okay. Ever. A safe activation mode can be selected to prevent smart bombs from being accidentally activated. Move the right difficulty switch to expert. And the smart bomb is activated as follows. Yeah. On fire stages, release fire and press down. On oh. dodge, scramble and catch, press fire. Pressing down has no effect. That's what I want. Oh, on B, right? Uh, on expert. the right one, switch to a expert. Okay. Yes, that is definitely what I want. I don't want to accidentally. So you have to let go of the fire button and press down in this stage. In this stage. And in the other one, you have to press the fire button. Right. That's way better. Because I accidentally set it off the first time it happened. I think we were playing 1K before because I haven't seen a smart bomb. It says you get a smart bomb at the end of the level. Yeah. But in the first game I ever played, there was a smart bomb while playing the level. Oh. Well, what does 4K have to do with it? You mean so how much memory? How much memory is being used to uh, store the game or make the game? Um, yeah, but why would that mean that you didn't have a smart bomb? Uh, maybe it's just different options in that game. Maybe we'll get there. Yeah. Main game. <laughs> uh, to smart bomb at it. In pro mode, your score will be displayed in blue. You are in pro mode. Oh, okay. If you choose to continue when the game is over, you will be sent two levels back from the one you died in. You will see the full ending if you reach the end of the game. On amateur mode, your score will be displayed in red. Okay, so I've been in pro mode this whole time. If you choose to continue when the game is over, you will restart playing from the level you died in. You will see a shorter ending if you reach the end of the game. Because you did not earn it. <laughs> I didn't earn it. To access the options menu, select options at the main title screen and press fire. Oh, so it, it might not be any easier. The easy mode is not easier than the pro mode? It might not be. It doesn't say Made that it. it's easier. Made it! All right. Oh, there's different enemies! Oh, these ones seem to be easier to kill. Yeah, like one... No, uh, a little bit easier. Oh. No, they're not. No, oh, they're the same. It's just those first ones were more damaged to begin with. Or yeah. Something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, do I have two shots? No, it just looked like that, because I was up against the wall. Mm. Seems a bit easier. Eh. What are you saving it for? For the next game where you don't have it? There you go. I used it. I still have one more. Because you get one each level. Oh. Look at that! Nicely done. Dodge! Dodge like you... Your life depends on it. It does. You only get one life. Is there multiple lives? Can you actually have more than one life? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Options <laughs> menu. To access the options menu, press options. To access the options menu, select options at the main title screen and press fire. Up down to select. Okay. This is. It just. You use the menu. There's. You don't need to hear this. It's just up and down for menus. If you can't figure this part out, then you need to get your own rules and read them yourself. This isn't changing to red. My score. 
Um, at any time. Yeah, yeah, but you're in the middle... Like, during the game, or... It says, before starting a game, use the left difficulty switch between Pro, A, and no. Amateur, B. No. Well, how do you know? You're not playing. During the game or before the game? Before starting a new game. Amateur's B, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's red. Oh, it does work! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! See, it's not easier, is it? No, it's not, even, it's not any easier. It like, just means you can carry on, though. Oh, where you died? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not easier. No. <laughs> oh, see, there's you. a bump. Oh, so I must I see. have been. So I think the options do change. They seem to disappear before they reach you anyways. And you uh, don't have to dodge them. That's just the programmer not wanting to draw two things on the same line. Yeah. <laughs> it's just easier that way. Because it's not very... Like, it either hits the front of your ship, or it doesn't. Oh, oh I missed that bomb. Could have had another smart bomb. Oh! The walls push them over. Which adds a lot to it. Because you think you can dodge it, but no, you're not dodging it. Stage clear! Okay, so... You're on a fire stage. You know how this one works. Yeah. The color changes to show you how much more damage you got to do. Yeah, the colors are different in this one, though. Yeah. And they're very they're subtle less, in this they're one. They're less actually. threatening. And they're... Yeah, much less threatening. But much harder to... Well, that's bad. Much I mean, harder to figure out. Yeah, like, they don't... They're oh. not as obviously bad. And the walls are making it difficult to kill them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, dodge. In a dodge stage, you have to dodge the asteroids. Yes. I would say you know that, but sometimes <laughs> it doesn't seem as though you do. <laughs> what? So if I continue right now... I would hit the first asteroid. <laughs> yes, press your continue. What, what level should I be at? That one. No. No. Didn't it say it put you back two levels? Only in pro mode. In this mode, it's supposed to put you back where you were. Well, it has not put me back where I was. But did you click continue, or was it too late to continue? Oh... Yeah, I didn't... I must have missed it. Bomb! Whoop! Yeah, okay, I'll watch for the continue next time. Um, there's a scramble stage, and you have to avoid the sentinels, and when they flash... Scramble. When they flash, it means they're close enough to shoot you, and you need to move away. Oh, I didn't make it to that. What luck? Oh, yeah, there! Continuing. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> What level is the sentinel stage, or does it say? No, it doesn't. Then there's a catch stage, and oh. you must catch sentinels. Oh, okay. When a satellite is within your ship's range, it flashes the stage ends as soon as you as, as soon as you fail to catch a satellite. Oh. Each catch stage is composed of 60 elements. Each fire, dodge, and scramble stage is composed of 100 elements. Okay. The music will change when the 80th element of the stage is reached. <laughs> Out of 100. Yeah. Okay. So you know you're getting close. Crazy music. Sounds like... Bagpipes. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Somebody going nuts <laughs> on some bagpipes. Just random notes. Oh my god. Score. You get three points. For every enemy you eliminate on fire stages. For every asteroid you avoid on dodge stages. For okay. every sentinel you avoid in scramble stages. You get five points for every satellite you catch in catch stages. You get 700 points bonus for every perfect catch stage you complete that you complete. Perfect. I.e. 60 satellites caught. Oh, okay, catch stage. Okay. You get 945 bonus points if you catch the 60th or 20th smart bomb power-ups. See below. Oh. 16th. 16th. Or 20th. 
Okay. Okay. Um, let's see here. So in the catch stage, you don't have to catch every single one. You don't have to. The stage ends as soon as you fail to catch one. Oh, okay. So it's a bonus stage. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. How come <clears throat> I keep not passing this on the easy level? Actually, the easy doesn't make it any easier. No. It should be called like the continue option or something. Or training. Easy. Practice. Yeah. Practice. Yeah, practice or pro. Or arcade, or I don't know. It's definitely not easier at all. Smart bombs, power ups. During power each ups. stage, you will encounter a smart bomb. To pick it up, move your ship below it, and your ship will catch it. Okay. There's a smart bomb counter beneath the score that shows how many smart bombs you are carrying. Currently carrying. It's different Zero. now, I don't know. Okay. Once activated. Because <laughs> I saw a little dash at one point. When I had one. Yeah. Now I'm doing terrible. So I don't Once have activated, any. a smart bomb removes all enemies currently on the screen. Okay. A maximum of three smart bombs can be carried at once. Okay. If you are already carrying three smart bombs, a power up will appear instead. See table below. Power up. Ooh. Fourth smart bomb, power up. Fourth smart bomb, power up. The missiles of your ship are upgraded. Your ship turns red. Ooh. Ooh. Power shots. So you definitely don't want to use the bombs, and you want to get to the power-up. Yeah. Eight smart bomb power-up. You can safely Eight. touch the tunnel walls without them narrowing or widening your ship turn screen. You can touch them. I don't, you don't get damaged by touching them. I don't know what that means. Safely touch... Ah! says eight smart bomb power up. You can safely touch the tunnel walls without them narrowing or widening. You mean you push them? Hmm. It's interesting. Because you can touch them right now and they don't push you. Well, they push you along, but they push the. Yeah. That means you can fly outside of them or you influence them in some way? Twelfth smart bomb power up. Your ship gains a shield that allows you to survive a game over condition once. Your Whoa. ship turns golden. Just once. That's a lot of bomb collecting. You gotta get a lot of bombs before that one kicks in. And it only 16th and 20th smart bomb power-ups. Wow. 945 points are added to your score. When you acquire a power-up, you lose all the smart bombs you were carrying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But each power-up you require can be sacrificed and used as a single smart bomb. Okay, so you go up and down. Game over. The game ends on fire stages when an enemy reaches the bottom of the screen. On dodge stages when an asteroid reaches the ship. It doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> say, the ship. It doesn't say that. That's, I made that up. <laughs> well, that's true. And on scramble stages when a sentinel hits the ship. Right. The game will not end on a catch stage if you miss, but the stage will end early and you'll score fewer points. Fewer points. Oh, I missed a bomb. So I'm so just concentrating on trying to dodge these damn things. When the game over message appears on the screen, you can press fire to continue your game. Ah, oh, finally! I won't have to play that again. Your score will always begin again at zero. Yes. If you don't press fire after a limited amount of time, the game will return to the main title screen and you won't be able to continue your game. Uh, the 1K version, starting a new game. Ah. Uh, do, do, do. There's one stage type in 1K. Shoot and fire all enemies down. The color of each enemy shows how many hits it will take before being eliminated. There's only one stage. Each in stage the 1K. is composed of 100 enemies. There are no breakdown breaks between stages. No Score: breaks. You get one point for each enemy you eliminate. Smart bombs. You can use smart bombs to remove all the enemies on the screen, but doing this will also reduce your score to the nearest multiple of 100 points, or to zero if your score is less than 100. You have an unlimited amount of smart bombs. That's oh. one, one game. Game over. Game ends when an enemy reaches the bottom of the screen. Returning to the main game. You press the button. A I specific have to button. Sit back for them to hear you. Is the microphone with the way the microphone is oh. placed. Uh, and then 4K is the game that we just read about. Okay, so 1K is just a one level simple. Game. Except that the scoring is described differently. 
Glad I missed the bomb. Level so four. Only, it says on the 4K that you only get one Scramble. Point. What happens on Scramble? You I avoid them. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. No, no avoid them. <laughs> I'll avoid them. Avoid them. Oh my god, it's so... What? Why did those... Oh my god. What? When they flash, it means that they're... Almost you need to get out of the way. They're almost gonna get you. Okay. This is not easy. They're so close together! This is like the... Game & Watch things. So close to those Game & Watches because it's they're moving like chunky. Like boom, 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 boom. They're not Game scrolling. Uh, those little things I have up there, you know, where you move. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because those are moving down, like chunky down. Yeah. They're not smooth scrolling. What I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. All the way left, all the way right. Because it's just too annoying. Oh, they're pushing me. It was working. It was working until the maze started moving. The maze pushes you over. Ah, shouldn't have moved. I thought this one was going to be easier. Why would I think that? Too? I don't know. <laughs> going to say that. Because it's a higher level. Why would it be easier? Why would they would put it first if it was easier. This tactic is kind of working a little bit. Because then I only have to look at two of them. The leftmost one and the rightmost one. Oh, that one was halfway. Arg! But I want to. I want to make it to the catch mode. The music's insane. It is pretty crazy. It's like a mad ba bagpiper. <laughs> It's like when you make like a game and one of those practice programs you type in from a magazine. Yeah. Okay. Hot. Oh, avoid? What was this one? Don't push the sides. What? Don't push the s I have no idea what it's talking about. Oh, you make it harder when you push the sides. Oh. That's why that power up, because you make it wider. Oh, which makes it, I have to move more. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm gonna push the sides. Okay. Oh, that's it? That's maximum, so yeah. You already <laughs> maximum <Wrecked> screwed it. <laughs> <laughs> to the max. Right to the max. But it doesn't seem like that much worse. I mean, it is worse, but... All it has to be is just enough worse that you lose the round. See, that was a mistake, going for that bomb. I don't know why you did that. Don't push the sides! Put the guys on the side! No, it's too hard not to push the sides! Because you're concentrating on not pushing the sides. So you have to get over there. I agree. Not fair. Ah! Ah. Just ignore it. Ignore the sides best I can. It's probably already a maximum already. Yeah. If I get the smart bomb, I get the smart bomb. If I don't, see, that was just pure luck that the bad guys were behind the smart bomb. No! <laughs> yeah, it does seem to be random, eh? Hey? Wanna play? No. <laughs> no? Done. 
Don't I want to sit here and, and be all superior because you're <laughs> complaining and I'm <laughs> mature and not complaining. But if I play, we all play. know. We all know the complaints will come fast and furious. Fast and they will not be so much furious as pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the last? No, there's still a collect one, isn't there? Yeah. So I want to get to the collect one at least. Not at this rate. You probably have to dodge after this. Too. Oh, I'd like another in between. Yeah, it's usually like dodge, kill, dodge, kill. And there's a hundred. Hundred of these guys. Yeah. Oh, I think I got pretty close that time. Oh, well, I think I get it. You get one point per time you shoot them, but it takes three shots. So that's why you get three points for killing them. Okay. Some of them only take one shot. Because some of them are... Yeah, there's one just to begin with. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why the one part of the rule says you get three points. And the other part <laughs> says you get one. <laughs> I guess depends on which, how strong they are. Yes! There you go. Okay, dodge, stage seven. Now what is this gonna be, how is this gonna be harder than the other one? It's the same width as the, uh, I still died a lot in the last one. Yeah. I don't think it's any faster. It's not more asteroids to dodge. I should be better if it was wider. Were we talking about asteroids? Um, like when you're in an asteroid belt, the way it's portrayed in movies yeah. is completely inaccurate. Yeah. <laughs> that if you were in an asteroid belt, the chances of you even seeing an asteroid is so low. Yeah, it would be a treat. <laughs> It'd be a treat to it see. It would. It would be like <laughs> an asteroid. It's like if you want to. If you want to go to an asteroid, you have to try. <laughs> really hard. Yeah. It's like the asteroid belt, even in the asteroid belt, it's mostly just vast, empty space. Like the rest of space. Yeah. <clears throat> but seeing an asteroid belt from a distance, does it show up as like, whoa, what did I have to, what I have to do? Kill? Oops. Wasn't paying attention. Don't push the sides. Yeah, so I'm don't. still not collecting yet. Yeah. Oh my god. But from a distance, an asteroid belt Looks then look like any a different. lot. No, it's, well, how do they def how do they define it if it's so? There's lots of it's compared to regular. There's that's where the asteroids are, and they're right. in a belt. That's how they define it. It's like how do this area where them? the asteroids are. How do they see them if With, they're so far apart? Well, that how do you see one cat in a field, <laughs> a gigantic field? Yeah. Do do cats only show up when they have other cats beside them? <laughs> asteroids are the same. You can see them whether or not they're near other asteroids. They must be big enough then. Well, some of them are not that... Well, they're yeah. pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not the size of planets or... No. Moons. Or moons or anything. Otherwise, it'd be called... Well, they wouldn't be called moons, you know, if, even if they were the size of moons, right? Because they have to... No, moons because orbit if they were planet. orbiting a planet, then they would all be moons. Because, like, for instance, Deimos and, and Phobos are asteroids. Oh. Happen, basically, they look and smell like <laughs> asteroids. Presumably smell. Right. Uh, like asteroids. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, and pass the sniff test of what an asteroid smells like. Yeah, and <laughs> ah, these is too many. <laughs> and they, uh, <laughs> they are moons. Yeah. Right. And if you have, I think it's Ceres. Ceres is it like a huge asteroid. It's, a, it's like a dwarf planet that's in the asteroid belt. Oh, okay. Wow. But it's not like the size of the moon or anything. Right. But it is the size of a moon. A moon. <laughs> I mean, it is round. the size of a smallest. It's big and round. One of the smallest moons yeah. in our solar system. Or is well, it's it? It's smaller? much bigger than Deimos and Phobos. It's very okay. big. It's like a dwarf planet, not right. a, not a, not an asteroid. Or I don't know if, if it's both. It's in the asteroid it's belt. An asteroid belt circles the sun, right? Well, I don't know if that's the asteroid belt does, but I don't know if you need... 
I don't think you need to be... Well, everything in the solar system circles the sun. Right. Um, but, for instance, the moon circles the Earth, which... And they both together circle the sun. And even a comet circles the sun. Uh, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything yeah. in the solar system. Because of the graph. Because it's <laughs> only part of the solar system if you circle the sun. That's right. Like, there's that, there's that object from another solar system that is currently flying through our solar system. It's oh. going really fast. But it's it belongs somewhere else. a giant else. cigar shape, but it's from somewhere else. And it's fascinating because it's the first piece of, like, intergalactic uh, um, trash <laughs> that, we've, that we've had. And it's, like, big and cigar shaped. Yeah. And they thought maybe it was a spaceship. It was very exciting for a few seconds when I because thought maybe that was true. so strangely shaped. But it has no acceleration. Yeah. It just moves at the exact well, same pace. It could be coasting. It could be. People have theorized that... But it doesn't have any, like... It's not, like, sending out any... Uh, radio signals, right? Right. So, they've concluded that it is not They haven't a concluded. Spaceship. I wouldn't say they've concluded. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because but... it still could be a spaceship yeah. looking, just sensing things and just... It is presumably not a spaceship at this point. Yes. You no. know what? The sides help you, though. Because they organize them all into one line, and then you can blast them all. When they, you get, once you get around the corner, you can. They do line them up. help a little bit. See, like there, there, when you yeah. get to here, you go vroom vroom, and this here vroom vroom, and there they, vroom vroom. They help and hinder at the exact same time, because you can't shoot them. Well, while you can the once you get around the corner. Yes. Oh, so hard. But if you hold yourself against the side. Then won't you come out in the perfect Ooh, angle to shoot them? Oh, you do! Okay, there we go. That helped a lot, actually. That helped a lot. See, I'm not totally <laughs> useless. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes somebody observing the game from outside of it, not playing it, can yeah. see patterns that the person playing it can't, because they're so busy trying to survive. Yeah, yeah see, that totally worked. But it's hard to even... There's so many, there's like one on every line. Yeah, so much better. Oh, that was a hard. Okay, scramble. Scramble? Don't touch the sides. Oh, yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> they were. Oh, they close in. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> ah! So my tactic won't work here. Won't work here. <laughs> Staying in the middle is what I have to do now. Oh, I touched it! I can only get so narrow. Wouldn't touching a lot of the sides... Be oh, there we go. Now I'm down to a minimum, and I can just do my tactic again. Mahaha. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> Broken. Still hard. <laughs> but I'm going to do it right away, so... Beep, beep, done. <laughs> Are they ever on both sides? No. One per line. Oh yeah, that's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a hundred of them? Uh, yeah. Uh. <sighs> Something's happening. I just saw a bird that was entirely green. Entirely green bird. Mm -hmm. Usually those are only in the tropics. Like a parrot. Did you say what kind it is? Oh my god, it's hard. Did you take a picture? Sort of a yellow green. Uh, okay, still. Very cool. I will tell her Pixar it didn't happen. Exactly. We don't believe you. Send us this green yellow bird. Countdown. Wait, does Pixar didn't happen? That that cannot be a hard fast rule. <laughs> Otherwise, well, if it's a visual thing, yeah, but like people like cheat on their like people. 
And if there's no pictures, then it didn't happen. It would be like <laughs> the whole uh, Las Vegas thing. True. What stays? Yeah. Um... Oh, wait. We're just talking about words and things people <laughs> say, not actual rules of the universe. I got it now. That's I right. It out. Well, yeah. If, if, if pics were the only proof, you could get away with a lot of stuff. There's many things you can do that can't be photographed. Or there's things that you can prove without photographs by other means. Um, audio, smell, um, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you've, um, you've, broken, you've broken the whole system wide open. <laughs> other than that, it's hearsay. And belief that um, that what somebody is saying is the truth, because they are a truth teller normally. Ah, this is so hard. That's how it works in court, right? They can bring in evidence of items or recordings. Usually, smell doesn't work in court. Ah, yes, oh I remember word. this smell. Yes, it's the killer's smell. It's the killer's fart. Catch, finally! Oh. <laughs> and that's it. That's all you get, get, right? You don't get to practice that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm happy now. Don't push the sides. I'll play this one a couple times, and then we'll be done. We finally got to the catch. They're like little dancing dudes. Picks? No. Probably flew she away. Said it was right? too fast. Oh, I don't know about that bird. She said it was the size of a chickadee. Oh, a tiny bird. Did she identify what? Do you have a bird book at your place? Well, we have the internet. What is this internet you speak of? <laughs> Super has access to the internet. She needs to look um, it up. Out in the woods? You have internet? She's currently using it to talk to us instead of looking up the bird. <laughs> but... ah, ah. One more. One more. And I'll be satisfied I have played this game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible run, but... <laughs> We did it. So that was lead, not led, as I was led to believe by myself. Quite a shooter, and it's quite a lot of variety in there. Yeah. Um, so it makes you want to go the next, at the next level to find out how that level works. But I think I kind of looped pretty much all the types of yeah, things. Yeah, you, you tried all the types. Yeah. If you call catching one catch. <laughs> one. Yeah. It was hard. I wasn't prepared. Yeah. I would have done way... I, I would have not gotten one. <laughs> not one. <laughs> now we're going to play Panky the Panda. No, that's, what, that's the one we're on. What? It says lead. Oh, yes. I'll change I'm that. trying to be helpful. We're going to change the graphic before we actually switch over to the graphic so that it's nice and smooth and you don't see the transition, which is good. There we go. Panky the Panda in the box. You hold the keys. Your brother has been kidnapped and is being held in an old underground mine. Now you must embark on a quest to save him before it's too late. But be careful. The caves are filled with many dangerous obstacles. Good luck, Panky. Your brother is counting on you. For one player, use joystick controller. <laughs> oh, copyright 2010, and it was published in 2016. So I got the date kind of wrong. Uh. So I guess he released it on the internet for free in 2010. So that's usually what happens. This is off, right? Yeah. Which yep. one is two? Oh, what? Two of what? The controllers? Or the position. <laughs> Oh, does this have something? Um, just but leave you it. Lost your high score on the other one. I don't care. All right. I don't care because I have to reset every time. Like every time you die, your your score goes to zero. So I never really got yeah. a good score anyway. Ooh, 
Big thick one. <laughs> Big thick manual. And a map. It's Panky's big thick one. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the cartridge. Is it shiny? Yeah. And it's, blurry? It's nicely focused. Why isn't it? It's because it's not recognizing it's not recognizing Panky's face as a face. It's true. Ah. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, it saw your face. Okay, now don't look at it. Oh yeah, look at it and be there. There we go, Panky the Panda. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get that going. There we go. Panky. Oh, it just starts. Okay, your turn first. So we've got a little panda dude. And he's jumping around and there's like a, a ball on a stick on a triangle. So the buttons jump. What does up and down do? Oh. Oh no, programmer, why do you do this to us? So apparently switching screens gives an, um, a non-happy number of scan lines, which makes my TV go insane. This is going to be a joy to play. But it doesn't update up there very quickly either. No, it doesn't. That's very strange. So hopefully when we switch rooms, it doesn't kill you. There's a bat. Oh, you, but you get to see it for a second, but not on there. You get to see it for a second on the screen and then it goes bleh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna read the instructions about um, screen modes or something. Maybe this is PAL or NTSC and you can switch it. must have died oh because there's enemies that can kill you quick enough that we can't see them we may have to skip panky because that's whoa because <laughs> this is painful painful sorry panky i'm going to look through my frame meister options for a second to see if there's something i can do so stand still or you will die. Or you don't have to stand still. Apparently you can go down. And die, maybe? Yeah, maybe stand still so you, I can see what's happening on the screen. Yes, please stand still. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you guys get to see it too. Isn't that exciting? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I set the option sync mode off let's try auto see if that kills it okay see if that helps probably won't but nope okay let me just switch back Live troubleshooting with zero page homebrew. <laughs> <laughs> just don't die. Don't just die. Die well. <laughs> uh, to wait every time. Let's go. No, it can't go up from the bottom. Come on. I need something that... No. That's 
like TV stuff. Sync time? No. I don't think that does it. No. Video set? Video format? No, I don't think so. Manual? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I did that. Options? No. Power set? No. Special? AD set? Scan line? No, that just does put scan lines on it. Yeah, I think we're screwed. Panky's off the menu. For now. Until I can figure out a way to uh, make sure that you died. No, goodbye, Panky. Sir Panky. Sorry about that, Mr. Panky. We'll play you later somehow. Maybe. And so we're going to go on to game number three. Yes, we will switch. Actually, if you want to plug this in, I will switch the game on here. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Switch it off, back on again. Okay, go for it. There we go. Oh, you get to see my menu. Uh, so we're gonna play Unreal Tournament. And this was released uh, on the 14th, six days ago. Uh, it's a beta and it is two player at the same time. There we go. Why does it say Panky on one and Unreal on the other? Oh. Go. Now we've got it. Unreal Tournament. Player count. Two. That is correct. Game type. Capture the flag. Deathmatch. Let's, Let's do, do deathmatch. Deathmatch first? Mm -hmm. Okay. This capture the flag is more nuanced. Yes. More involved. Yeah. It's better to do deathmatch because you can learn how to do that to, part. Yeah. Pick up types. Random single up, double up. Random up, Rocket Fest, Delta Force, Redemption, no pickups. Let's do random pickups. Sure. Weapon set, full reduced. Full. All the weapons. Out of ammo, one down, two down, enforcer. Oh, I don't know what that means. Hectique. Let's just go for one down. Um, score to win, 10 frags? Sure. 15. We'll do 10. Thank you creates one all black screen when switching. Thank you, Thrust26. Um, and unfortunately, that black screen is not the proper amount of scan lines because it makes my TV go insane and thinks it's not NTSC anymore. Um, so it's unusable, like in this uh, in this method, in this setup. In this setup. And, I, and I'll just try and do some research to figure out how to make sure it doesn't do that. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Okay. You want to pick the map? Because <laughs> we're both picking maps right now. So it looks like there's about 10 maps to choose from. You want that one? Yeah. Okay. I agree. <laughs> nope. Did it reset? Apparently. Uh, that was weird. Let's try a different map. They're, are they randomized? Because these are not the same. <laughs> oh, that is the different same map. Okay. Oh, we know this one we did last time. Pick a different one. Okay, that one. Sure. Oh, it's gonna randomize between the two. No, it's gonna restart. What is happening? Um, hmm. Let's do capture the flag. <laughs> Maybe sure. deathmatch isn't implemented? Sure. And do that one. Let's pick the default one. Okay. So deathmatch maybe isn't implemented. This, this is a work in progress. Hey! What? What, what happened? 
die. Oh no, I died. So I have the flag right now? Yes. Okay. Death uh -huh. to you. There's a weapons pickup over there. I'm a claw or something. What? How did my flag get there? Nobody knows. Oh. Oh, oh both dead. <laughs> both dead. <laughs> so the flags are kind of randomized? Or is that because you died there? I think I have a shotgun. How come... How do I put your flag down? Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. Uh, did you kill yourself? I wasn't even shooting at you. <laughs> well, then obviously... Oh, you know... Okay, I, I have to myself. get my flag when you drop it. So it's like you have to have both flags. Yes. There. There. Okay. You not only have to have your flag, but the yeah, you other have to guy's return, flag. You have return. to return your flag. Yeah, yeah. There's sometimes there's center flag, and sometimes, yeah, you have to return it, and your flag has to be there. Yeah, yeah. that's... Okay. I picked this one. You want to do this one? I hesitate to agree. <laughs> oh. Ma -ha -ha. Yay! Oh, wow. I could, like, aim. Wow, that's a powerful one. Oh, my flag. Okay, when I touch my flag, my flag returns to its base. Oh, my God. What is... Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I was trying to kill you, but it never works. Or it worked once. Ah! Yeah, I have your flag. Nobody likes you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Boo! I think we need to up the number of... Let's go back one. So it's five flags. Sure. What happens? I want to try three players. See what what is going on. Oh, look! There's a green guy at the top, but there's no green selection. So is green just a computer? No, there's nobody green playing. Maybe it's. Maybe it's when one person loses, then the green player goes? Oh, powerful. So I have to kill you to get my flag back. Oh, what? It, oh my goodness, that's quite a power-up. So I don't know which one is you. Ah, but do I know which one is me? <laughs> that is the question. Oh! How did you start that? I got a power-up. Would you just press the button and but how do you fire? Oh, it's just on all the time. That's a pretty cool power up actually. And now I have to kill you. Oh no! I uh, now I have to kill you to get your flag. Oh no, your flag's returned to its base. <laughs> Oh, but I have to kill you to get the flag. Easily done. And then I have to return to my flag base. There we go. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Ooh, what is that green thing? Ooh, powerful shotgun. Ah! No! You've got one on me. 
Oh, no. I need better weapon. I blew okay. myself up. You blew yourself up? One more. What, I hit you with a rocket and that wasn't enough? Oh, both died. Usually a rocket kills you in one. Unless it's you, cheater. <laughs> You're the cheater. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Oh, see, okay. And now it goes green-blue. That's how they do six That's players. Weird. Let's do that map. That looks crazy. Looks like there's not even much room to move in it. Oh, it's the opposite. Okay. Oh, I'm green. Coming for your flag. What? Briefly change color. Ah. How many times I gotta shoot you, Jesus? <laughs> A lot. Boo his boo. <laughs> it's because you have you have four. I have forty health left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have 90 health left. Ah! 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 Oh! What's that green dot? Is that your weapon? I think it's, uh... Fourteen. Fourteen health left. Ah! Do you lose all your weapons when you, when you die? die? Yeah. I'm, yeah, you do. Ooh, you almost got. Ooh, that's a powerful. What did one. you do to kill me? It was just some weapon. It was like really, really powerful. It was like one shot, or unless you were weakened already. works some of them I'm yeah very confused so let's let's read the instructions because there's a whole bunch of weapons unreal tournament up to six players may compete playing in teams is available by selecting teams of two or teams of three teams are red green and yellow against Blue, purple, and white. Oh, you can have different number of teams. During team game, players only play matches against all members of the opposite team. While non-team games, players play against all other players. Cats. <laughs> game types. Capture the flag, deathmatch. Choose between capture the flag or deathmatch. During capture the flag matches, players try to capture their opponent's flag and return it to their own flag while the latter is in its own location. Getting killed will drop the flag you're carrying. Unlike uh, Unreal Tournament 99, a dropped flag will not automatically return after 15 seconds, but must be returned by the owner of the flag running over it, which is a good game mechanic, I think. So you have to go pick it up where the guy dropped it. Pickup types. Random, single up, double up, random up, rocket fast, delta force, redemption, no pickups. Um, during the matches, blinking boxes will appear randomly on the maps. Running over the boxes gives you either a weapon or a power-up. 
The pickup type setting determines what type kinds of bonuses a pickup contains. Random, a random weapon or power up. The random you may get may be less powerful than the one you currently have, and you don't you don't know what it is, and you just get it. Single up, either the next better weapon or a power up. That's cool. Double up, either a weapon two steps better than your current weapon or power up. Random up, either a weapon that is more powerful than the one you're than the one you're holding or a power up. Rocket Fest, either a rocket launcher or a redeemer or power up. Delta Force, a sniper rifle if you're not currently holding one, or a minigun if you are. Uh, redemption, a redeemer or power up. No pickups. Pickups do not appear during the game. See, out of ammo. So you just get your little pistol, I guess. Uh, out of ammo. Oh, this setting determines what happens when you're out of ammo. Oh, there's ammo in the game. Oh, that's why your weapons were disappearing after a while. Um, impact hammer. You will stand very have to stand very close to your opponent when firing. Deals 99 damage. Pretty much a kill. Uh, single and double enforcer. Hold the fire button while moving to strafe. Single does 10 damage. Double does 8, but fires at a higher rate. Oh. Uh, bio rifle. Oh, these are these are pickups. Okay, a bio rifle. Direct hit does 15 damage. Shoot at a wall or allow a blob to drop to the floor to place a mine. Uh, it's the green thing. Ah, uh, okay. When your opponent gets near the mine, it'll explode, doing 25 damage. So you can. I wonder if you can kill yourself too. You yeah, probably. Probably. Shock rifle. A direct hit does 16 damage. Exploding projectile does no damage for now. I still need to balance the weapons. Pulse gun. Each section of the ray does six damage. Try to aim your ray such as the opponent that your opponent gets hit by two sections, dealing double the damage. Although simplified, this echoes the original behavior of the pulse gun in UT99. Ripper. Rapid fire moving discs that bounce off walls. A hit does 14. Minigun. During my last playtest with friends, the minigun proved to be a, fav a favorite. Not all weapons were implemented, though. Rapid firing. Deals five damage per hit, but carries 80 rounds. Oh my god. Flat Cannon. My favorite UT-99. Fires a big cloud of shrapnel. Direct hit deals 24 damage upon impact and may deal an additional 24 to anyone standing too close. A direct hit will thus deal a total of 48. Rocket Launcher. A direct hit of the rocket deals 40 damage. The explosion adds up to another 30 for a maximum of 70. Sniper Rifle. The, two, the true super weapon of the game. Holding the fire button shows... A rectile. Move your avatar to move the rectile until it snaps to your opponent. Try to perfectly line up your avatar with your opponents and release the fire button to make that headshot. Maximum of 150 damage. Quickly dropping to zero if your shot is not perfectly lined. That's how that works. Mm -hmm. Redeemer. Press fire to take control of the giant rock rocket. A direct hit would deal 70 damage. The explosion will take care of another 80. So make sure you dive this one this one in a wall not near you. Power up, big keg of health. Adds 100 health points. If any player health is above 100 points, it will steadily drop until it reaches 100, so temporary. Power up hologram, we saw that. Um, for some time, a second avatar will be drawn for the player, horizontally reflected on the other side of the symmetrical map. The opponent can only hit and hurt the real avatar, not the copy. Try to confuse your opponent by rapidly crossing the center of the map a few times once you pick up this power-up. When you fire your weapon, your true avatar position is revealed. Uh, okay. So it's best to use that when going to get the flag and not shooting. Power-up damage amplifier. For some time, your avatar glows bright purple and deals twice as much damage to your opponent. But be careful, splash damage you receive from firing your weapon and it will also be doubled. Okay. That makes a bit more sense. Let's change the options now so that the pickup types get better. Double up. So it gets really good. Maybe single sure. up. Yeah, double up. Weapon set, full. Out of ammo. Uh, <coughs> one down. Okay, they're counted through two. Okay, now don't 
too late. Fire. <laughs> well, in the game, I just want to go see the power-ups. So get that power-up. Let's see which one it is. That's the blob. Okay. Hey! 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 Okay, so I have the blob, too. It doesn't hurt me. So it would have to be... Oh, there's the ammo. So it says 55. Okay. And you did hurt me. <laughs> give you all the hurt. Die! Yeah! Die! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, we're playing now, huh? No, it's we're just testing out the... Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Purple! There you go. You die. You die. No! Why's your flag over there? That's Very where I strange. died. Oh, what? Or that's where you died. Oh, because I had it. I have to get you to get my flag back. Boo! Hiss! Boo! Oh. Dot. Uh, I can get around that. You keep on firing, yeah, yeah. Wasting your time. Oh, but you get my flag even if you do follow me. That's true. Oh, reset. Get the weapon. seem to upgrade my weapon. What happened? Oh, that did. Oh! Damn it. Just in time. <laughs> trap for you. I think you just killed yourself. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Something killed me. Something big. Explody. Uh. Oh, you got my flag. Didn't even see you do it. Done. Quit. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I had to cheat, but I won. I want to see if <laughs> deathmatch it works. All right. Um, cause it didn't seem to work. Just kind of died on you. Just resets the. Yeah, I don't think it's implemented. Cause that would just be the same game without without flags. Without flags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see that not being very hard to implement, so that's probably why I went for the flags, programming the flag version first. I would have done the opposite. <laughs> Doing the easier and mastering that and then well, the you flags? Well, need, you need the deathmatch to work before... Well, you just need the killing you to work. You don't need the, the, the rules of deathmatch. It doesn't matter either way. Flag or deathmatch, you can play deathmatch even with the flag. You just don't. You can't. You basically you ignore, are kind of doing it. Ignore the flags completely. Yeah. Although it doesn't track how many times you die. No. But that would be easy. Would to under deathmatch. Though. Easy to implement. Yeah. That. 
And I can see why you would do the flags first, because then you just turn off the flags and then turn on the counter. But the flag code is much harder. Because you have to keep track of who's got the flags and where to drop them and the positions of the flags. Not not terribly hard, but you do, you do have to draw the flags, which is something special in an Atari game. It's uh, because at that point there's like, on the same line could be you, your flag, the other guy's flag, and him. Yeah. And that's four things. And Atari has two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> two items that can be drawn at the same time, so they can be. It's going to be flashing. Yeah. So you have to draw a routine to handle the flashing or not flashing. So good, good stuff, Igor. Yeah, it was cool. Um, I had some information about. I don't think I announced it. Yeah, MLDB is his name on. Um, no, Igor did the music and sound effects. Let's uh, wait for the actual name of the programmer. Good, uh, good music. M L D E Bruin. So. No, the Bruin. Very close to his uh, Atari age name. Uh, yeah, so this so as it progresses, I'm gonna keep an eye on this and definitely yeah, pretty cool. buy it when it comes out because if it's this good now, I think it'll be even better. Um, I don't know if there's some way to show on the screen what weapon you have. I think that would be an improvement. Well, it like does show the... you when you pick it up. Yes. And you can tell by the way you shoot. So that's. That'd be good enough, because yeah. you know yourself what type of weapon, and it doesn't... You don't need to advertise to the when other it, guy what type of weapon you have. When you run out of ammo and it downgrades, I don't know if it showed you, but it, that. But if you turn into that weapon, then that would like indicate that you were out of ammo and your weapon had changed. That would help I don't lot. think that happened, but... Uh, I don't... I didn't see that happen, no. And, um... Also... Maybe flash... Was, was it clear from the rules what what weapon you start with? Yes, it was called I think maybe not. I just wasn't sure how much damage you did. Maybe it doesn't say single enforcer. Maybe I'm guessing single does ten damage. That's probably what it is. Yeah, that's probably it. And your first pickup is a double enforcer. And then bio rifle, then shock rifle. Um, let's play one more. But let's do single up. We did single up last time. We did double up. Did we? I thought we did. No, it was single up. Uh, or it can just go all out. There we go. Redeemer. Redemption? Yeah, this gives you the biggest weapon, which will Minigun almost or, kill you. Or the sniper. Yeah, this, yeah, the sniper will do 150. Uh, okay. You pick the map. Oh, the flag is not near me. My flag is not near me. Oh, oh, you have to pick it up. <laughs> As opposed to what? <laughs> As opposed to having it immediately. I thought you might have the the um, gun immediately. Whoa! I don't even know what just happened to you. I don't know either. I think I killed myself. Oh, it must be a rocket. Yeah. I just killed myself. <laughs> Ah! That is pretty deadly. Whoa, it does, does go fairly slow, so you... Oh, you bastard. I thought you... In this, the Redeemer, you... Oh, that's like a bonus thing. What is? Because that's not a weapon, what you have. It's more like... Yeah, it's a, it's a power-up. Ah! Oh no, I only have my pea shooter. 
No! <laughs> I got us both! <laughs> yeah, resetting your own flag... I guess you have to do it eventually, but... It's not necessary when you know the other guy's just gonna get... ...you anyway. Ah! Whoa, you could direct it! Oh... That's awesome. No! Run away! Oh, good shot to the side, not down. Killed yourself? I killed oh, everything the in the area. <laughs> good shot to the side, hitting, yeah. Oops. Oops, I just killed myself. It is a very deadly weapon to your, <laughs> to yourself, too. So you can make it go down hallways. Ah! Successfully made it go down a hallway. And dead. You have to be super careful with that weapon. Oh, so it doesn't always give you that weapon. No. Oh, you, you weren't get, even near me. Yeah, you can get really, like, close-ish. Oh, health. I see. Oh. It didn't kill me because I had health. Oh, you got a bonus health? Oh, it's too close to the wall. I don't know what killed me there. I, I just randomly died. You weren't anywhere near me. I did get you with the rocket um, a little bit. Uh, at first, and then maybe you shot yourself a little bit. Hold it self shooting. <laughs> bah! These rockets are crazy. coming for you. Oh, <laughs> it's not the easiest to shoot down a hallway. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you can't intentionally kill yourself. Only if it hits a wall. Ah, whoa, get out of here. Oh, I want it. Nope, I got a blob. Is that a snipe? Oh, you got a sniper? Oh my god. Ah! 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 <laughs> you only have to do it once. <laughs> Ooh, that was close to me. Oh, I... Yeah. Close. Oh, I have a sniper. Nope. Just powered up. Done. Good in good in game music as well. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so very good work in progress. It's like it, it's like almost done. Yeah, yeah. There's no real big flaws in the capture of the flag that I can see. Um, yeah, it seemed pretty smooth. Yeah. Um, except for in the menu there, it's jumping and jittering a little bit. But yeah, um, actually, yeah, the the uh, particularly the map choosing menu where some maps cause it to like <laughs> lose its just mind. It's like ah, like that one ah, <laughs> and on that one, just a little bit sometimes. Yeah. Oh, and there's different music per map. Oh wow, that's really good. That's cool. Oh, weird. The jittering's kind of... But that seems like something easy to fix. It's like he's, he's just drawing too many lines or he's miscalculating something. So that seems like an easy fix. Good job. Good job. Definitely worth a purchase when it comes out. That'll be on my shelf for sure. Uh, let's switch back over to the full screen. 
So it's sad that we couldn't um, get Panky the Panda working, but such is life, because uh, I didn't test it out beforehand um, on this system. I've only briefly played that on an emulator just to see what it was like. Um, and emulators are like, ah, no problem, throw, I can do anything, throw it at me. That's why all the, all the um, programmers are always getting people to test it on real systems. Right. So that things like this, this jitter doesn't happen because right. on an emulator, maybe that doesn't. Right. Um, because emulators aren't, aren't perfect. They actually smooth over issues. <laughs> um, yeah, good stuff. And, and lead. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's not coming through. It's okay. It's just bleeding through on this mic. I just wanted the vibrating to stop. Oh, the vibrating. Okay. Oh, we're on full screen anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and okay. and the um, audio for the video game doesn't come through because it's not on the screen. And lead, um, terribly difficult. Very difficult. Really yeah. hard. Um, but I'm glad it has that continue mode. Otherwise, I yeah, probably yeah. wouldn't enjoy it at all because it's so hard. You'll never make it past like a couple levels. But it lets you practice and yes. not just the beginning levels. Yeah, which is kind of nice to have that option. Yeah. Um, so I think um, my favorite out of the two is probably this one, the capture the flag. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool yeah. and uh, novel. <laughs> you know, like it's, it is. It's different. Yeah, it's, it's especially kinda, for a, a twenty six hundred game. It yeah. has quite a bit of depth, and for a two player game too, that's kind of nice. Actually, six player game, but two at a time. Um, I mean, the downside obviously is that you need to have friends yeah so if you don't, you don't have, always have friends to play games with. no it actually that is a good point because there's no ai in this i game. keep trying to get him to play borderlands 2 with me i just played a little bit I, yeah i don't know i'm not too much into those type of games where it's just it's more than just a shooting tournament game because it's a quest you're playing yeah. with other people on a quest. Yeah. So it's closer to what I want. Maybe it's just the style of that game is not quite right. Normally, I don't like a lot of first-person shooters, but I do like Fallout and uh, Elder Scrolls. Another Both thing is that Borderlands 2 is awesome for multiplayer, mm. but you get the most out of it playing it by yourself the first time mm. because when you're playing multiplayer you don't hear what any npcs say everything's like high oh. speed low drag <laughs> and like they're really funny and the story's really funny yeah there's a lot of value in that and you don't get it anyways <laughs> we're we're on the wrong topic we're on a different generation yeah back to back to the second first generation second gen second, second that's right yeah, first what, Kong was first generation. yeah first first gen is no cartridges no yeah. programmable cartridges. Right, right. It was just like, what was in the boxes? What you get? Game yeah. one or game two? I had some sort of Pong-like game. Did you? Yeah. Oh. I took it apart. <laughs> and never got it back together. <laughs> it would have been very easy to put back together, really. But it was yeah. just... It seemed very obsolete at the time. It wasn't... I, I very... I very much doubt it was official Pong, you know? Yeah. If it, wa if it was made by Atari, then it was Pong. Otherwise, it was table tennis, yeah, usually, was probably or table tennis, hockey, yeah. or any variety of things with goals and balls. Or, yep. yeah, table tennis, tennis, volleyball. They could call it anything that has a ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super soccer. Super soccer, yes. <laughs> and they usually have options of, like, one thing on each side, or two that move together, or the goal was big, or the goal was small, like, barely different varieties yeah yeah and there are a million of them the really good ones had like light guns as well ah. and had um shooting games <laughs> and um i do have one with a light gun packed away um i don't think i actually did i hook it up i can't remember i'll have to try and hook it up next time not for this show because we're not that's not homebrew <laughs> gotta stick to the homebrew people um, so that's it for this. It's a little bit shorter than usual because Panky the Panda didn't work, and I'm very disappointed. Get with it, Panky. Maybe there's um, maybe there's an update that I can download. Not not that I could put it on here, but I can put it on my cartridge. 
and see if there's anybody that else that complains about it because I don't know or I'll, I'll figure out something here so thanks for joining us and thanks for hanging out and chatting the uh, person that was chatting with us giving some info uh, thrust 26 I actually haven't been looking at the chat too much because it's with two-player games you can't yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to concentrate the whole time but to anybody else who was there hanging out there's a couple people hanging out there um, thanks for hanging out with us and we're usually on Wednesdays a little bit later usually 7 p.m. Pacific 10 p.m. Eastern and on Fridays it's usually 2 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Eastern and um, so we'll see you next Wednesday or Friday so thanks for hanging out with us and usually this is posted a couple days later on YouTube okay see you next time bye bye ciao